Here on Motoring, we're always looking out for cars that stand out in a crowd. Well, when we spotted Melanie Melody in her bright pink cabriolet, we knew we had a winner, although the interview did get off to a slow start. It's a Volkswagen Cabriolet. It's a convertible. It's 96. 96? 95. It's a 95. Yeah. Let me try that one again. <laughs> it's a 95? 85. 85. 85. You're right, it is. It's 85. Melanie, tell me first uh, what kind of car you have here and how long you've had it for. Okay, it's a 1985 Cabriolet convertible, Volkswagen, and I've had it for about 13 years. When I first got it, I really wanted a black one and they gave me a white one and I hated the white one. And the white one kept getting hit all the time, especially in the winter. So I decided I had to paint it pink. That's what started this. The most specific things on the car are on the dash I have Beetlejuice characters which are from a cartoon that my husband produces and I have dice, um, I have paint which is acrylic paint, it's uh, pink and white and black, I have little bowling trophies down the front and I have um, a good luck horseshoe with a uh, red pepper hanging from it down the right on the front where the Volkswagen emblem is. I have uh, little Barbie doll arms around the the wheel thingies and I've got um, more dice and uh, rhinestones and jewels and I have uh, my initials right at the back and I have uh, what else do I have on there oh the baby dolls that are along the top the cupid dolls actually I used to have baby doll arms that were on there and they had little bottles in them but somebody came in the middle of the night to my house and they stole them all which was really a bummer and, and plus they broke off all the bowling trophies and I got up in the morning and everything was gone and so I had to replace it all plus I had to repaint the entire uh, hood again so that was a bummer Hi there, remember me? I was in the LTD MTJ 501 Mmm, you look like you'd be fun I've been working on a new record uh, with the boys from Great Big Music and a lot of my songs uh, do incorporate cars and driving and truckers and uh, I have one, one new hit single called Cruising Down the 401. That's a very cool song. <laughs> Well, we got good comments and bad comments. We've got uh, comments like, uh, that's a great car, and uh, I wish I could have that car. And then there are the comments that are like, ew, that car's horrible, or uh, what a dumb looking car. And it's, it's, it's a mixture. I mean, we've got more good than bad, but like everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Does any of the stuff uh, have special significance to you, like that special meaning why you put it in the car? No. No, I, I love it all. I mean, it's all, you know, it, I mean, the more I do it, the more special it all becomes to me. Like, it's, it's a whole, it's a piece. It's an art piece in progress. I need, like, tons of more stuff. I, I have to completely cover it. I mean, people think, they think it looks pretty wacky right now, but it looks like nothing compared to how it's going to look when it's completely covered, and then it'll be pretty wild. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Hi. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And if you watch this on Facebook, like, follow, and share us. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.